This is a basic introduction to wire strippers. Hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Right, so in this video, I want to talk a little bit about wire strippers and some of the options and some of the styles that are very popular in our industry. So the first thing that I want to just kind of mention and get out of the way are these somewhat multi-tool wire stripper crimpers. They typically fall into the categories of uh, strippers and crimps and these have a ton of different options with them but that you may save this for a video for another day um, but I just wanted to mention these that there are a ton of varieties and there are a ton of styles out there as well now I will make just a general statement about all wire strippers if it doesn't have a name brand on it get rid of it okay it is not safe to use it's not great to use I recommend not using anything without a name brand, and I prefer to use only use wire strippers with brands that I know and am familiar with, okay? So we're gonna move these to the side, and we're gonna focus on four different wire strippers here by a couple of different brands. Okay, so let's start off talking about features that I like when I'm looking for a pair of wire strippers, okay? There are two features that I really enjoy uh, when, when the wire stripper has them. So first, is there a spring? I like the spring because it automatically opens up without me needing to apply pressure. This is one of the issues that I have with the, uh, these multi-tools is that you close them, you, oft you then have to use your fingers to actually um, get them back ready to work on. So I do like the ones with the springs. If I can afford it at the time, or if you can afford it, I also like this feature that locks them closed. And this is, just a, this is just a pure convenience thing because if you're gonna put them in your tool uh, belt or even in your back pocket, depending on the job, they stay closed, they're easier to put in and easier to get out. All the wire strippers that I have also have a pair of uh, pliers here at the end. I find these to be very good for helping me to bend um, the wire after I have twisted it or after I've stripped it. So again, I'm a really big fan of those features there. So another feature that you wanna consider when you're purchasing uh, wire strippers or grabbing them out of the box is what size wire they're meant to strip. So these uh, Garden Bender GB brands here, they actually have a couple different, uh, they have a couple different sizes depending on which type of wire it is. So this is a 10 to 20 solid and a 12 gauge to 22 gauge stranded. Okay, so if these are the uh, areas where you're going to be stripping a lot of wire at, you might want to go with these. But if you're doing more industrial, typically we would like to have something that goes, you can get them that go a little bit farther into like the all, typically up to eight gauge, you can actually get them. These Kleins right here are actually my favorite for under $15. I like the way they feel. There is no uh, locking mechanism here, but I find that these are just very reliable. But this goes from uh, 10 to 18 gauge, which is very common for residential wiring, the sizes that you'll use. Sometimes you will get into eights, so they may not work perfectly, but for an introductory pair, I find these Klein, the 1145s, to be very good. It's 11,000 for a 45 is the model number. Um, this is a Klein high voltage or insulated wire strippers. These insulated uh, handles or grips are set for uh, a thousand volts, okay? And you typically get these in a special pack, which I love. Uh, one of the other features that I particularly like about the Kleins are that they're made in America, but I really do like the idea of the Kleins being made here. They're, uh, I really like that feature. Now, for the most common wire strippers, at least where I live, these are gonna be the Kleins. Um, this one is the 1155s, or um, sometimes called the 11,055s. And then there's another model of this called the 11,054s. Um, and the difference is, is what wire size they can strip. These go from 10 gauge up to 18 gauge uh, solid. And on the stranded side, 12 up to 20, okay? Now you can see here, these are obviously my, the most common ones. These are the ones that I use. These are my personal ones. Uh, and I've had really good success with them. Now, a couple of features on uh, all of these tools that I want to mention is they all have the ability to cut. Okay, these are meant to cut copper and they can cut aluminum. All right. 
So here I have some 12 gauge, 12 gauge stranded wire. So I'm gonna come here, 12 gauge uh, stranded wire is the largest that I can cut with these uh, uh, garden benders. Come in here, pop off, and then we'll get to mine. These are a little more worn out, um, but they're doing good. So I go ahead and I line these up with where they need to be. Pops off, ready to go. Okay, and you can kind of see that uh, these are even beginning to get worn out. They may be coming to the end of their life, but this is 14 gauge solid. So we're going to come here. We'll line this up with the solid side. Put this in the 14. Strip it off perfectly. Okay, come in. Snip. Same thing. I know it's a little bit trickier to see, but this is the 14. Place it in here. Perfect. So these are some of the features that uh, that I like about your, your common wire strippers. Okay. Okay. The last feature of uh, these Klein tools, this would be for the 54 and the 55s that I'd like to show you, is its ability to shorten a screw. Okay. Uh, and this is a feature you can use in a pinch. This will do the six and the eight. Here I have eight. So what you do is on. It's a little tricky to see on these old ones but there's an 832 right here. So you're gonna just start to thread this in, okay? If you wanna get a screwdriver, you can. Most of the time you can do it by hand. Screw this in as far as you wanna go, all right? And then when you're ready, you come in, snip, okay? Now this, feet, this tool is, it's okay for this in a pinch. And then you thread it out and you have yourself a shorter screw if you strip the fr you know if you strip the front of it and it won't catch or something like that you can use these in a pinch and so this is just a little bit about uh, wire strippers and if you uh, have any questions or uh, comments please leave them be uh, down below I know there are a ton of other um, wire strippers out there that you can use these are just the ones that, that I see out there a lot uh, please go ahead and do me a favor and like and subscribe thank you